Hello YouTube fam. Welcome back to our channel. In this channel, we will be discussing various topics in the exciting world of AI, machine learning, and computer vision. Our content is crafted by our awesome human team, but here's the magic. It's finely tuned and optimized by our AI wizards, bringing you top-notch information. And guess what? The presentation is delivered to you by our AI hosts and voiced by our incredible AI avatars. Let's get started. In today's video, we will look at Dreambooth fine-tuning for stable diffusion using diffusers. This notebook shows how to teach stable diffusion a new concept via Dreambooth using Hugging Face Diffusers library. By using just three to five images, we can teach new concepts to stable diffusion and personalize the model on your own images. This work incorporates insights and code snippets courtesy of Hugging Face and the authors of Dreambooth research paper. We extend our gratitude to the original authors and Hugging Face. Let us see what is stable diffusion. Stable Diffusion is an AI-based image synthesis model developed by Stability AI and Partners, which can generate high-quality images from textual descriptions. It's part of a broader category of models known as diffusion models, which generate images through a process of gradually denoising a random pattern of pixels. The model is particularly good at handling fine details and can be steered towards specific artistic styles or the mimicry of certain aesthetics. Stable diffusion has been widely adopted for various creative and commercial purposes, such as generating art, designing characters, and even creating virtual environments. Let us see what is Dreambooth. Dreambooth is a technique used in conjunction with stable diffusion to fine tune the model for personalized image generation. It allows users to train the model on a small set of images, usually around three to five of a particular subject, enabling the model to generate new images of that subject in various contexts and styles. Here's how Dreambooth works. Step one, data collection. Collect a small set of images of the subject. Step two. Fine-tuning. The model is fine-tuned using these images. This process adjusts the model weights to capture the unique features of the subject. Step 3. Enhance generation. After fine-tuning, the model can generate new images of the subject in various contexts and styles. We will run this in Google Colab with T4 GPU. First up, install the required libraries like Hugging Face Diffusers, Transformers, Accelerate, and Bits and Bytes. After that, let us add the URLs to the images of the concept you are adding. Input images consists of AI avatars used in this YouTube channel. Common pattern is that they are all Asian Indian, wear green clothes, most have their hands open as if presenting some ideas. Instance prompt is a prompt that should contain a good description of what your object or style is, together with the initializer word AI bot avatar. Let us see how to do fine tuning with Dreambooth. We will create a class called Dreambooth dataset for the image related attributes and features. We will define image transforms like resize, center crop, normalize. All right, we will then create a class called prompt dataset for textual prompt related attributes and features. Next up, we will use stable diffusion pipeline and from pre-train to load the base model. We will then load the models and create a wrapper for stable diffusion. We will set up different components of the stable diffusion model like slip text model, autoencoder KL, unit 2 d condition model, and clip tokenizer. Next up, set up all training args like learning rate, use 8-bit Atom. After that, we create the training function. Here are the steps involved. Step 1, initialization and setup. Set the seed for reproducibility. Initialize the accelerator for distributed and mixed precision training. Configure the VAAE and text encoder according to training parameters, e.g. gradient checkpointing 8-bit Atom optimizer. Step 2. Dataset and Data Loader Preparation. Create a Dreambooth dataset with the instance and class data. Define a collate function to process and batch the data. Initialize the data loader for the training dataset. Step 3. Training loop configuration. Set up the learning rate scheduler. 
prepare the models, optimizer, and data loader with accelerator. Hmm. Calculate total training steps and batch size. Now comes the most important step. Step four, training loop. Iterate through epochs and batches, performing the following. Encode images to latent space and add noise. This is the forward diffusion process. Get text embeddings and predict noise residuals. Compute the loss, including prior preservation loss if enabled. Use the MSE loss function. Perform backpropagation, gradient clipping, and optimizer step. Save checkpoints periodically. Step 5. Final model saving. After training, create a stable diffusion pipeline using the trained models. Save the final model to the specified output directory. Finally, let us run the training function using the Accelerate library to manage distributed training. And afterwards, free up memory by deleting parameter gradients and, and emptying the CUDA cache. It could take about 15 to 30 minutes. All right, we have finished with fine-tuning training. Now, let us run the inference code with your newly trained model. We will use Stable Diffusion Pipeline from pre-trained, and we will load the model from args.outputdir. For the first sample, prompt is AAI Bot Avatar in Mad Max Fury Road. We can see the output captures the essence of the concept we tried to teach. Our input images were all Asian Indian, wearing green clothes. Most have their hands open, as if presenting some concept. We can see green color predominantly. For the second sample, prompt is AI bot avatar girl in road. We can see the output shows Asian Indian with green color predominantly. For the next sample, prompt is AI bot avatar girl standing we can see the output shows person with green color predominantly. They have their hands open as if presenting some idea. For the next sample, prompt is an AI bot avatar riding a bike. We can see the output shows person with green color predominantly. To summarize, after fine tuning, when we run the inference, we can see that model produced images with similar concept mostly Asian Indian, green clothings, hands in similar posture. By looking at the images towards the end of the notebook, we can observe this pattern. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of AI and machine learning and algorithms. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Tech Talks and ring that notification bell to stay updated on our future explorations. Until next time, happy coding and keep the curiosity alive. Thanks for watching.